this is a Starflight TX-1000 that has made its way back here to one of my hangars. It's actually owned by a neighbor and a friend of mine. His name is Marv. You'll see him in a lot of the paragliding videos that I have. But we have been working on this for the past four or five weeks now and got an airworthy condition and I've got a couple hours of flight time on it. And hopefully Marv will fly it sometime soon. I'm gonna do a walk around of the airplane and just show you guys what we've done to it so far and kind of how it works. It's very similar to a Quicksilver MX. I'd call this a two axis plane with spoiler on. So the rudder pedals do the rudder and the stick does your spoiler ons and the elevator. Sticks on the right side throttles on the left and it does have a brake and a steerable front wheel brake isn't very effective if you want to stop quick you just drop your feet it's got a 16 inch spoked bicycle front nose wheel and then I put my tundra tires on the mains we fly it in a lot of fields especially now that everyone's harvesting around us I think it's got a three gallon gas tank a Rotax 377 for an engine, two cylinder, single, single spark plug per cylinder, single carb. The points and the timing had to be adjusted on it. We rebuilt the carb and we repainted the exhaust. For instruments, I've put a Hall airspeed indicator on it and a string. And the string works really well to let you know if you're coordinated or not. Over here, let's see, we've done a new fuel pump on the fuel lines. Carb's been rebuilt, like I said. Oh, the ignition switch was replaced. The PTO shaft has been replaced. The pulley back here, that's new. The belts are new. And the bearing is also new on that pillow block. The propeller's been refinished. A lot of the AN hardware around the entire plane has been replaced too. Overall, the plane was in pretty good shape. The fabric's in good shape. We're not quite sure how old the plane is. I know the company started in 1983. I don't know when that ended. And you could see, I think this is a local sponsorship here at one point. It says exhaust pros under the wing. It's probably just going to stay because it's going to create too much damage if we try to take it off. Here's your bottom working of the spoiler on here. Come back here, show you how it pops up. I think it's a 33 foot wingspan and the Quicksilver MX is a 32, if I believe. If anyone has any more information on the Starflight type of aircraft or that company, we'd like to know about it. Just leave me a comment. Because we don't know too much about the history of the planes. I'm kind of thinking that um, they might have gotten into some legal issues with Quicksilver or Hyper Aircraft because it looks it's very similar to a Quicksilver. That or maybe Star Wars. So if you look at George Lucas, if you look at... Um, the label here, it kind of looks like the Star Wars writing. Probably a mid to late 80s or an early 90s airplane. My best guess is that it, looking at the engine and all the wear on everything, it probably has between 100 and 200 hours on the airframe and engine. But it's a lot of fun to fly. It's real easy. Cruises 35, 40 miles an hour. Stalls at about 22. I have about 300 feet here for a runway, and it and it really is not a big issue at all. Even have having no brakes, getting it stopped, just fly so slow.
So thanks for watching the ultralight barn find video. If you guys could subscribe and to my channel and thumbs up this video, that'd help out a lot. There's gonna be more stuff like this coming in the near future.